it's PrestonAdactiveGames.com here, and today is Science Sunday, and we are finally going to be doing another Steve Spangler Science Club kit. So this one is all about growing bacteria, which is really, 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 really cool experiments, and I'm super excited to get started with it. As always, there is a ton of stuff, and we're only going to be showing you a, a few of the really cool things. Um, to just start getting the kits if you want to be able to do all of the really amazing stuff. So we're going to be taking the swabs from four different things around the house, and we're going to be growing the bacteria in these four different petri dishes, and then we're going to be cleaning all of those things in different ways, and then we're going to grow them again and see how much of a difference in, and see how much of a difference it makes when you clean them in different ways. So let's start by taking swabs from those four things, and those things are my hand. The TV remote, which is going to have a lot because it's just been touched a lot and everyone touches it and uses it and it obviously doesn't get washed often. A phone, my phone case, which I touch a lot, I play on it all the time. And then we're going to be taking one from the refrigerator door handle. And then we're going to clean those things in different ways and see which way is more effective to get rid of bacteria. So the kit comes with these 10 petri dishes um, that have this agar in them and agar is basically just a word for bacteria food and bacteria really really loves that food so they grow really quickly like within 24 hours you'll have a really good sample so that's what's in the bottom of the dishes and why they look kind of yellowy and then they come with these little swabs so you can actually take your samples and it comes with these really great instructions on how to properly take the samples which I wouldn't have thought of if I was doing this on my own. So first, I'm just going to put my fingers directly in the agar so we can get some of the bacteria off my hands. And now I'm going to use the Q-tips to take a sample from the remote and put that in the Petri dish. And then I'm going to use a new Q-tip and do the exact same thing with my phone case and put that in a new Petri dish. And now I'm going to use yet another Q-tip and take a sample from the refrigerator door. I'm going to wash my hands with a soap that we use almost every day. And then we're going to take a new sample. We're just going to wipe the refrigerator door down with a paper towel. And then a new sample of that goes in another dish. We're going to wipe the TV remote down with a Lysol disinfectant wipe. And then we're going to use a little bit of antibacterial soap on my phone case. It's really, really important that you label all your dishes with what's in them, like case not cleaned, fingers not cleaned, and stuff like that so you know what's in them because if you don't know what's in them and you lose track, your experiment is just going to fall apart because you're not going to know which one's from the clean, which one's from the dirty, and which one's from what object. So now we have all of these samples and they are nice and labeled so I know what they are, like fridge, white paper towel, remote wipes, and stuff like that. So then it says to put them in a dark, warm place for 24 hours hours and then we get to see how much they grew in the past 24 hours. So what we're going to do for our dark warm place is we are going to put it in this box which it does recommend in the book. It has quite a few recommendations of two places that you can put it. So we're going to put it in the box to keep it dark and under one of our electric blankets to keep it warm. So it'll be like a little incubator and then tomorrow we'll get to come and check and see how our bacteria grew. So now they've been in a warm dark place for a little more than 24 hours so I'm gonna open them and take a peek at them and there's actually really detailed instructions in the book on how to handle them properly because you can actually be growing some pretty nasty stuff inside of them so I'm just gonna take them out of the box really quickly and give you first impressions and then we can handle them properly let's start with the geek fuel box that I think has the most in it oh wow um, here's the phone with the antibacterial soap. It looks like there's like nothing in it. There's a couple drops and that's it. Um, here's the case, not cleaned. The case does have uh, quite a lot of bacteria. So does the fridge. The fridge with a wet paper towel actually has still has some. And the not clean remote has um, considerably more than the phone case. Now let's do this one. The the, fr the fridge not clean has a little less has a little bit more than the wet paper towel one. Um, whoa, my fingers! Wow, <laughs> my fingers not watch. Wow, the remote with the wipes also did really well. There's like nothing in there, and then the hands with the soap still has quite a lot but considerably less than the fingers not washed. So we're going to handle these properly and stuff, but it's actually really crazy how well the antibacterial soap and the wipes did. Like, I can't see a, thi a single thing in there, um, but my fingers are just like, it's all over. 
like we said, this is actually just a little bit of a taste of what actually comes in the box. There's all sorts of things, like you can test how well you wash your hands and really cool stuff like that. And this is definitely one of our favorites that we've gotten so far because you get to do like lots of experimentation and it takes some time. And it's really cool to see how dirty everything is and um, you get to practice labeling everything, which is really important, and control groups and everything's just really fun and definitely really adheres to the scientific method. So yeah, this was really, really cool. If you like what we're doing and you want to keep up with more Science Sunday as well as some other stuff that we do, please, please subscribe. It really helps us out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.